What's going on guys? It's Thanksgiving Eve. Welcome to another edition of Rhino Reviews. I know most of you are probably thinking about turkey and dressing and macaroni and hanging out with your family and a little football, maybe drinking a cold one with your cousins and, 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 and the like. But uh, today I got a, a pre-Thanksgiving day review from a new restaurant in Lugolf, Ty Williams, um, avid watcher uh, of the videos. Uh, hit me up and said have you tried the new chaffa line um restaurant that's the menu chaffa line fusion restaurant it's peruvian slash asian fusion um i'll give you a little bit on the menu here it's uh they got chicken fried all the all the all the house fried rices uh chicken shrimp vegetable pork they got uh wings and tenders they got lo mein they got sandwiches um, soups and salad, different kinds of rice, um, a few desserts, um, pineapple upside down cake, and then they got a couple lunch specials on here. It's located in between Ganey's Oil and Lou. You know Doug up here does the five minute oil change. Doug Ganey's and Leo's. Leo's, you probably know Leo's. So right in the middle, right beside the uh, giant crab or whatever this thing's called, it's the white building right beside it. So, Chaffa, Chaffa Line Fusion Restaurant. So, I went in here and I got the Lomo Saltado Sandwich, which is pretty much like a steak sandwich right here. And chicken fried rice. You can see the fried rice. Got some egg in there, carrots, um, little herbs and spices. See it? Um, all that for like nine bucks. Ty told me to make sure I get some spicy sauce for the rice. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. It's kind of plain, but it's got a little kick. All right. So I'm gonna give this uh this chaffa line fusion a review. And then we'll talk about Thanksgiving Day. I'm so going hot now. Steak, chicken, uh, steak, mushrooms, onions, and peppers with a little chaffa sauce in there. Get a sucker bite. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's good. I'm not exactly sure what it's cooked in. It's a. It's got to be a hint of soy, but it's not overbearing like soy. Not salty. Hmm. Sounds good. Of a fork, though. Oh, here it is. Mash up this sauce and this uh, this fried rice right here. So far, so good. Mm. Chicken fried rice got pieces of chicken cut up in there. Chunks of egg, carrots, some other seasoning. Tell you what, the rice is kind of plain. It's like a plain, and then the flavor hits you. You first taste it, it tastes like white rice or like greasy rice, and then the flavor hits you. Peppers, the sauce, egg. I'm here to tell you, that right there's something good. Mm. 
Gotta buy this sandwich. Tell you, hard to judge a, judge a book by its cover. Looking from the outside, you probably gonna ride on by. Same, you probably think about Leo's if you didn't know any better. You tired of eating fast food? You tired of eating the same old joints? Tired of subs, fried chicken? Give that Chafalana a shot. Chafalana Fusion Restaurant open Tuesday through Sunday. Sunday only 11 to 6. The other day's 11 to 8. 694 Highway 1 South. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a really good meal. That's better than one of these knockoff Chinese joints. The sandwich has flavor. Rice is good. Make sure you get that spicy sauce. Drizzle it on there. That's a really good meal. Chopper line. On the scale. Mm, I don't know what scale to put this on. I'm impressed though. Eight six. Eight six on the chaffa line fusion. Eight six. Very impressed with it. I don't know what else I'll try from there, but I like this. If I was to uh if I was to get uh, something else or eat there again, I'm probably gonna get the same thing. Loma Saltado sandwich. Steak sandwich, chicken fried rice. 8.6. That right there is the leader in the pack of the Asian Peruvian fusion restaurant so far. Bonus pick. Four in a row. Hit last night. Gamecock's not very good in basketball. Bonus pick today. Charlotte Hornets. Detroit Pistons, neither team's very good. Way below 500. Over and under is 213. Sink it on the over. Both them teams don't play good defense, but they do score a lot. They should easily score uh, 213 by midway through the fourth quarter. Money in the bank. So, traffic line, 8.6. Hornets over 213. Money in the bank. Y'all have a good night. Get ready for turkey and football tomorrow. I try to swing a little review in tomorrow. If somebody's open. Maybe there might be something off the wall tomorrow. I can give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Hit the hit the subscribe bar, like and share. Appreciate you. See y'all tomorrow.